Hi friends, I wanted to show you our new uh, landing page when you get into Schoology. So you can see here I've got my little Bitmoji classroom going on with a hyperlink to our Zoom link. And I'm just going to be putting the times for our lessons up here right uh, from now on. So uh, I've got group A. If you click on this hyperlink, it will bring you to a list of students in group A. If I click on this hyperlink, it will take you to a list of students. So just in case you forget which group you're in, you could find your groups. Here's a hyperlink that will take you to our Epic page with our uh, class code. All of our students are in Epic, so you should be able to work in Epic between 7 and I believe 4 o'clock on weekdays. Um, our office hours are here. I will add in the lunch bunch. I believe it will be that 11.30 to noon time again. Uh, this week, but we'll have to play a couple things by ear that might shift. But if I make any changes, it will be on this home page right here. You can see that we still have our links uh, uh, below us. So the Zoom link is still there. Uh, the Epic class is still there, the Schoology. But now right here, I've added in this green folder. So if I have to add in a language arts tools, I will add it here. But here's a math tools folder that I've added for you. And of course, then here it is by weeks. We can always still go to our calendar from that uh, calendar link to see all our lessons lined up like this. But you can see it's getting really long. So I'm trying to reduce this so it's easier for our students to come and uh, just have access to maybe one thing on the calendar. But let's go back to that green folder that I showed you the link to. So here you see a number rack or an abacus, uh, addition strategy posters, subtraction strategy posters, and a mathematics game. So here I could use this abacus to help me count. Um, five plus two is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. So I could use it to maybe even 20, take away seven, I have 10 plus three is 13. So we could use this to help us count. Here's that deep sea game. So uh, when you, you get in here, you can expand the screen so you can see the whole thing, but the target is 15. I'm playing against Okta. You can play against another person. Okta has chosen nine and I'm trying to get to 15. So I'm gonna see which uh, bubbles I can choose. As 12, I have seven. I'm going to choose a two. I'm going to choose a seven. I added up seven plus two is nine. Six plus nine is 15. So students can uh, go ahead and play, play this game and have fun while they're reviewing their math facts. There's also these strategy posters in here, which we're gonna go over these different strategies in class. Uh, but this might be something that you could either just use as a digital resource. If you really want to print it out, you can, uh, but it'll help you understand uh, the different ways that we can use these tools and help our students achieve. So it's right here. Uh, they can always refer back to this digital poster in our math facts uh, folder. Alrighty, friends. Well, I hope you enjoy the new tools in our digital classroom, and I look forward to seeing you in lesson. Bye.